All right. So thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Uh, my name is Erin O'Brien. For those of you who haven't met before, I am a Thermix consultant and team leader based in Druin in Victoria. Um, but obviously due to the ever evolving virtual world, I'm now uh, selling Thermixes and supporting my team and, and customers all over Australia, which is really cool. Um, I'm bringing this virtual cooking experience to you guys on behalf of my team, the Mix Masters tonight. Um, we try to run these cooking experiences as regularly as we can as a way kind of, of I guess of showing you guys a bit more about the Thermomix from the comfort of your couch um, or if you already own a Thermomix to help you get the most out of it, help you learn, help you learn some more again from the comfort of your couch. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'd love you to pop in the chat box before we get started and let me know um, what's brought you along tonight and if you are a Thermomix owner um, what model you have. So uh, are you here? Have you been invited by a friend? Are you here to grab a host reward? Here to learn more? Um, any of those things, pop it in the chat box and let me know. Um, so obviously, as this is a virtual cooking experience, I'll skip the page, um, I've chosen our menu tonight. But as always, if you are interested in seeing more, seeing more specifics, um, seeing a menu that would suit you and your family, uh, myself or my team of consultants, I'm more than happy to do that for you at any stage. Uh, before we get started, I'd love you guys to have a think about and pop it in the chat box if you don't mind. Um, what is most important to you when it comes to the food you cook and eat at home? So there's a few different ideas along here. Um, healthy, simple, fast, creative, saving money. If you could pick one of those, what do you think it would be? Perhaps to help you narrow it down, because I know for a lot of us, we all go, oh, all of them. <laughs> um, but perhaps if you have a little think about what your challenges, your mealtime challenges are, um, yeah, have a little think about those, what frustrations you have in the kitchen. It might help you narrow down which ones of those are the most important to you guys. Um, I know for me, it's probably um, probably healthy food, I think. I've got a young family and I really like knowing exactly what's in what my kids are eating. So um, healthy for my family looks like, um, yeah, cutting out additives, preservatives, that kind of thing as well, as much sugar as we can. <laughs> um, so we've got a couple of different things coming in there, saving time. Saving money, healthy. Great, thanks for sharing everyone. Healthy. Finding ideas, that's a really good one. Can, that can be really challenging too sometimes, can't it? All right, keep coming in the chat box if you can. Um, so the TM6 is an all-inclusive price of T2359. So it includes everything you see here. So the Thermomix itself, um, our Varoma, which is our steaming attachment that has multiple different kind of uses and can essentially double the capacity of your Thermomix, which is really great if you're cooking for a large amount of people. Um, also helps you kind of to add in layered cooking, which, um, you know, is where you can get those all in one meals from, which is amazing too. So I've also got our simmering basket, our splash guard, our whisk, butterfly whisk, our measuring cup, a spatula. You get a hard copy of your basic cookbook and you also get six months free subscription to Cook It Do, which is our virtual recipe platform. Um, you also at the moment get a free Fira cast iron Dutch oven, which is really cool. So that's only available until midnight tomorrow night. Um, but there are a few different ways to get a TM6 in your kitchen if that's something you are thinking about. Um, my favourite one is to earn. That's what I did when I first joined. Um, and we do have interest free and a few other options, but we'll go into all those in a bit more detail later. Um, so we're going to get cooking. We're going to get straight into it tonight. Again, as I've said earlier, um, well, tonight we're only going to, obviously, due to the limitations of one de demo and be it virtual, um, we're only going to be able to see a few of the different modes and functions of the TM6. There are so many different ones. Um, things we won't see tonight include emulsify, um, what else, mincing, uh, milling, grating, blending, steaming. There's so many different ones. So, again, if you are interested in seeing more, um, learning more, that is what uh, we are here for as consultants. So we would love to book your own demo, whether it be virtual or in home, to show you more. Um, so I'm going to switch over to my other camera. And as I'm cooking, I would love you guys, if you've got any questions, pop them in the chat box. Um, and yeah, please don't hesitate to. It's what we're here for tonight. And now a couple of my teammates are in the chat box as well, so they can help me answer any of the questions. So please don't hold back. Oh, look, perfect timing. It's shutting down for us. <laughs> Um, so the mix shuts down after 15 minutes of being idle, um, just as a kind of power saving uh, moment. So we'll just let that do its thing and I'll turn it back on. 
Tonight we are going to make um, the Pizza Bianca, which is a great little versatile um, bread slash pizza. And we're also going to make a risotto as well. So that will be nice. Let's have a wait for that to turn on. Is anybody going to need any questions so far? Anything in particular you want me to cover or talk about tonight as we're cooking? Pop it in the chat box and let me know. Obviously, I'd love to make this as useful as you as possible. So if there's something you want to see or for me to show you or talk about, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do that. So we'll just let it connect into Cookie Doo. So I think TM6 is a smart connected cooking appliance. That means it connects into your Wi-Fi and gives you guided cooking through Cookie Doo, our virtual recipe platform on the screen of your Thermomix. So it does just take a second to connect into the Wi-Fi as it starts up. And we'll get going. So what you can see here is our home screen. So this is um, just our manual, our basic so settings uh, if we were cooking in manual mode. So you'll see these throughout our recipes as well. But we've got our time, temperature and speed. If we were to swipe across to the right, we bring up all of our different modes and functions. Um, because the TM6 is a smart appliance um, through Cookie Do. You, through your Cookie Doo subscription, you do get new updates and modes as they're released. So since, um, well, even the start of this year now, we've had a couple of different modes that have automatically come on. So it updates a bit like your mobile phone would. You turn it on in the morning and it'll tell you there's a new update available. So things like our chop function are new. And then we've got our um, slicing and grading as well, which have come on board ready for our um, slicer to be uh, to be available to purchase this week, which is very exciting. If we scroll back the other way, we bring up Cookie Doo, which again, that virtual recipe platform. So this is exactly the same as you would see it on your, um, up on your phone or on the computer as well. So they all look exactly the same and they're all integrated as well. So if you um, select something on your app, it will automatically come up on your phone mix, which is great. So we've got our global search bar here and then we scroll down, we can see our new recipes. There's a couple of different features and articles and different things throughout. So you can have a bit of a look, play. Um, there's, you know, some ideas for cook, comfort food for the cooler weather. And there's the most cook section and everything like that. But otherwise, we're going to head up into the three little bars in the top left hand corner and go into my week. I've meal planned out these recipes for tonight. So you'll see them, they're ready to cook. So I'm going to start with our pizza Bianca. Just tap on that one and brings up our recipe. So from here, we can scroll down if we want to um, check out the ingredients of preparation steps. Um, we can scroll down to the bottom. There's some hints and tips uh, and that kind of thing. But otherwise, we are just going to hit start cooking. So it's going to walk us through every little step, even the ones that aren't kind of directly Thermomix related. So it's telling us to preheat the oven to 220 which I have already done. I've also got our baking tray ready to go. So we just press next pass down. And into the bowl, we're gonna paste two cloves of garlic. So just whole cloves, throwing them in there. Three sprigs of fresh rosemary. And just saying leaves only. So just gonna take it off the big stalky bit. And I know that a lot of people think, oh, what is three sprigs? It really doesn't matter. As much as you want, as little as you want. Please always remember that guided cooking is just a guide. So if you like something, you can add more. If you don't like something, you can leave it out. You could leave the rosemary out and just make this like a garlic pizza if you wanted to as well, which is delicious. It's, nothing is set in um, stone as such. You'd be messy with that rosemary. So next one past that, then we're going to pop the lid back on. Now we're going to chop it. So four seconds, speed seven. So just turning the dial all the way down to the seven there. Just reading your comment, Alice. I use the mashed potato recipe from the recipe community is my favourite one. I'll have to send it to you afterwards uh, and find it. Um, I have heard the recipe. I have never used it. I had a TM5 before my... TM6 without cookie doo. Um, so we're just going to scrape that down while I'm talking. Um, so I use and love a lot of manual recipes, recipes from the from the recipe community because that's all I used for quite a long time. Um, so I've never actually made the 
cookie dough mashed potato that I've heard that some people have had trouble with it. So I will send you the one I like. Let's get that down, pop the lid back on. Four seconds, I'll speed set it again. So we're just pushing that garlic and rosemary back down towards the blade. That's just telling us to transfer that back into a bowl. So I'm just going to, we've well, got my thermomix on a glider board, so I'm not pushing it around. I'm just using that to move it. And you can see there that chopped rosemary and garlic. And we're just going to pop that in a bowl. So that in total was eight seconds of chopping. Do you think you could chop rosemary and garlic that quick at home yourself? I know I couldn't. <laughs> so you don't need to worry about getting all the little bits. Obviously, you want to get as much as you can, but you don't need to worry about all the little bits. Next, we're going to do the dough. And it actually turns out quite nice if it's got a bit of rosemary and garlic through it. And another little tip I have for you guys is to, so when you'll see as we get to the end of this recipe, but it tells us to spread the rosemary and garlic on the pizza base and then a bit of olive oil. If we put that bit of olive oil in the bowl with it now, it kind of infuses those flavours into the olive oil and it's delicious. So I'm just going to do that. So there's our rosemary and garlic. I'm just going to pop that to the side. I'm going to keep going with our dough. I'm going to try and <laughs> put it back in the right spot. All right, so I'm just going to tear those scales. And we're going to place 220 grams of water. So our scales on our TNC are accurate to one gram. So they are very sensitive. You'll see them above the mixing bowl over here. Next again, one teaspoon of raw sugar. This is optional, I have it in. Um, two teaspoons of yeast. Next. And then I'm going to pop the lid back on again. Next. And now it's um, telling us a little bit more. So we've got it set for two minutes, 37 degrees, and we're just turning the speed selector to one. So 37 degrees um, is the optimal temperature for the activation of our yeast. So we're kind of just taking the guesswork out to make sure that we um, have good, successful dough every time by heating it to that 37 degrees. So yeah, it only takes two minutes. You can actually watch it, you'll see when it gets going. Um, and if it reaches that 37 degrees quicker, you can stop it if you want to. Um, but yeah, it's just taking the guesswork out and making sure you get perfect bread every time. Has anyone made the um, pizza Bianca for those of you with the Thermomix? Is it something that you can make often or much? Pop it in the chat box and let me know. It's a great little quick and easy side um, to go with anything really. But if you've got visitors coming that you want to kind of bulk out a meal a little bit or you've got a big family that... Yeah, you want a little bit extra sides to go with it. Um, yeah, or you just want a bit of different bread for your soup or your spaghetti, anything at all. It's a really great, really versatile recipe this time. Any questions so far? Please pop them in, guys. Uh, let me know if you've made the pizza Bianca before. If you make, do you make any changes, any substitutions? Do you make it as just a garlic bread or do you add the rosemary too? I tend to do a bit of both. If I don't have fresh rosemary, I just do it as garlic. Sometimes I even add a little bit of cheese to it. Yeah, it is a go-to, isn't it? It's just so quick and easy and works perfectly every time, which is what we want, isn't it? So you'll, I'm not sure if you can see clearly on that screen or not, but 37 here and then there's a 37 above it. So that means that's the active temperature of the ingredients in the bowl. So that's what we were trying to achieve. So I'm just going to stop that there. So you can just press your dial at any stage to stop whatever it's doing. We're just going to hit next. So into there, we're going to place 400 grams of baker's flour. Got my giant tub here. I'm not sure if anyone saw, follows me on Instagram, but we headed to Costco today. And one of my favourite things to buy at Costco is baker's flour. It's so much cheaper than buying it at the supermarket. It's about half the price. Uh, we get, we, today we got, what was it, 25 kilos for $22, which is incredible. So I've got two massive bags and I have no idea where I'm <laughs> going to put them. I didn't think about that at the time, but such a great saving. I worked out for that 25 kilos, it can save me $50 on buying it from the supermarket. 
which is crazy. 50 grams of olive oil. So again, you're just using your built-in scales there. So it just saves you creating more dishes for yourself as you're going. One teaspoon of sea salt. I don't really measure it with the palm of my hand myself. And then we're going to put the lid back on. So now I've got two minutes. And this little wheat symbol here is our dough mode. So this is kneading for us. So we've just got two minutes of kneading. And you'll hear that stop start of kneading. I can't wait till Costco comes closer too. We go to the run in Ringwood. It's still worth it for us to go with that family. But um, yeah, I think there's meant to be meant to be, meant to be one coming to officer, which will be amazing for us. But yeah, so many great savings. So two minutes of kneading in your Thermomix is equivalent to about 20 minutes of hand kneading. So um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have 20 minutes to stand there kneading for something like this. And then something like bread rolls or um, a loaf of bread, anything like that, it's going to be even more needing time. So um, the Thermomix doing it all for you hands-free is a bit of a game changer. Really. What kind of breads are you guys making at home at the moment? Those of you with a Thermomix, what kind of um, breads and doughs are you making? And if you don't have a Thermomix, let us know. Is it something that you make? And pizza bases, um, yeah, garlic breads, any kind of rolls or scrolls, that kind of thing? Put it in the chat box and let me know. I know it's certainly not something I was making before I had been this. That's something we do make quite a bit at home now. If you like the kids. Anyone making bread stoves? Put it in the chat box and let me know. So you see the glider board does also stop the, the thermomix kind of jumping around as much as it what it might without it. Um, so they're available from the big shop. Um, they help it move it easily so you're not damaging the feet, which are the scales, but they also kind of secure it a little bit better for kneading as well. Breads. All right, so next again. So now it's just it's telling us to transfer that onto a silicon bread mat and divide into halves, work into a bowl, and then cover and leave for about 15 minutes. So again, I'm just going to move my thermos out of the way. I'm just going to grab my bread mat. So these are available if you don't have a bread mat, you need one in your life. They're just the best thing ever. <laughs> so many great uses. Um, and you can get them, they are available as a, on the mix shop, but you can also get them as a host reward for quite a significant amount cheaper. Um, so if you need one of those, please reach out to your consultant um, and we would be more than happy to help you get a bread mat. And it's, it also comes with the oven mat as a bundle. Um, happy to help you get my formula. So I'm just going to do this just as one big pizza. Like I said, I've got a big family, so um, the kids and husband will eat all of that in one go. So I'm just going to leave it as one bowl. But if you know if you didn't need it all, you can divide it into two. You can freeze half if you want to, um, whatever suits you. So I'm just going to wrap that up in the bread mat. You can see the silicon is very pliable, so you can just wrap it. it. Saves you on glide wrap and that kind of thing. I'm just going to put that aside. All right, so I'm going to bring back my thermomix. And we're going to continue on with the next recipe, I'll just grab my second bowl. I'm just going to go to the three little dots beside the next button. And there's a cancel recipe option there. So I'm just going to do that one for now. And then we're going to go into my week again. And we're going to select our risotto. Tonight we're making the spinach, chicken, spinach and leek risotto. Has anyone made this one before? So again, scroll down if you want to. Um, you can check your serving sizes. You can change that if you wanted to. So um, if you're only cooking for one or two, you can change change your serving sizes to two, but I am going to leave it at four. So into our bowl, we're going to place 100 grams of Parmesan cheese, just kind of roughly chopped into pieces there. Next. And now this is going um, to kind of grate up this Parmesan cheese nice and finely for us. 
So it does use the full power of the Thermomix. So um, Zoom will mute me out. So I'll talk to you in 10 seconds. I'm just going to transfer that just back into the bowl I had the cheese in. So you will see that very finely grated that cheese up for us. So if you were doing that, um, just pull my spatula. If you're doing that by hand, how long do you think it would take you to grate that parmesan up? Let's pop that to the side, wipe my still out of the way. <laughs> and now we're going to place two garlic cloves in there. So again, like before, just hold one. So I'm going to bring that back closer. 150 grams of leek. So just roughly chopped up. 40 grams of olive oil. Next, popping the lid on. And now I've got five seconds on C5. So a bit of bread mat love happening in the chat box there. They really are so great, aren't they? I never had one when I had my C5, but I did make a lot of breads. And then when I became a consultant and got it, I was like, where has this been my whole life? So that is that leak. Chopped up there for us. So it's going to hit next again. It's just telling us to scrape down the side. So just pushing those ingredients back down towards the base. Next. Now, so we're going to place the simmering basket on top instead of the um, measuring cup. And then three minutes, 120 degrees. And speed one. So just switching that out there. So 120 degrees is our kind of saute temperature for our TM6. So um, that's what's happening now. So we've, we've got oil, garlic and leek. We're just sauteing those down like we would in um, the frying pan. How did I make bread without it? With flour on my bench, which was a lot messier. It worked perfectly fine, don't get me wrong, but it was a lot messier than um, flouring the bench than just using the bed mat. There's no extra flour or anything. I literally was so shocked when I got it and changed my life. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, obviously this is sauteing hands free now. So saving you from standing at the frying pan doing it. Um, you could be doing anything else, chopping your chicken for the next part of the recipe. Um, whatever you need to do really, I think that's a bit of the game changer with the TM6 is the hands free time. So you might have seen that I obviously quickly swapped over my bowls now. I've been lucky enough to get a couple of different bowls as a Thermix consultant, but we do have our second bowl host reward running only till 11 a.m. on the 31st. So I know um, there might be a couple of you on tonight that are hoping to grab that. But if you don't have a second bowl and you want one in your life, which you do, trust me, <laughs> um, you've got until 11 a.m. on the 31st. So please reach out to consultants tonight right now um tomorrow morning whenever you can if you want it because time is running out super super fast um to get a demo and to get that in your kitchen any questions oh, so the chat box moved and i didn't see it I'm going to grab my chicken out for the next part. Please don't hold back if you do have any questions. We are more than happy to work through those as you have them. What are you for? about 45 seconds left on that so like I said you know if you were making this at home you could use this time for anything else perhaps yeah probably probably chopping your chicken up um you could use 
uh, probably left it late to show you now, but three little but dots next to what's the freebie button at the moment. Um, you can open your recipe detail to check that to see, you know, what ingredients you want to get out next. Um, to check those hints and tips just to make sure there's nothing else you want to change, that kind of thing. Or you can use your preview button. So at the moment, you'll see instead of the next is a preview. So you can tap that and you can keep tapping it through it. So now I can know that, you know, during that three minutes of sauteing time, I can grab out my risotto rice and um, anything else I need to get out, so chicken, that kind of thing. So the preview button is really handy to get yourself organised the next couple of steps too. All right, so I'm going to try and show you without steaming up the camera too much, but that is that sautéed leek in there and garlic. If anyone has a glider board, it's so handy, isn't it, to be able to just kind of move your thermomix mix around nice and easily. So we're placing 300 grams of arborio. So again, just watching our built-in scales. Is risotto something you guys are making much of at the moment, those of you with a Thermomix? Those of you without a Thermomix, do you make risotto at the moment? So 60 grams of white wine. Um, I don't have any open and I try, I don't usually put it in because of the kids eating it. Um, so I'm just using just a little bit of stock instead. Next, we're going to pop the lid in the simmering basket that time. Three minutes, 120, and reverse speed two. So our blades are sharp on one side and blunt on the other. So that means if they're running normally, um, they're going to be chopping up a little bit, depending on what speed we're running at. But by running them in reverse, we are um, we're using the blunt side. So we're stirring it without any chopping. So it just means that our risotto isn't going to get all mashed up. So that's a very important one um, to have on ordered the glider board. Um, it, it really is so great, isn't it? It was something that I didn't think I needed. I um, was lucky enough again to earn one as a consultant. I thought, oh, I'm not going to use that. Um, but no, I, yeah, didn't realise how much I would use it, to be honest. So yeah, like I was just saying before, we can use our preview button to um, read through the next couple of steps if we want to. So now we could get our chicken ready, um, do anything else that we needed as that is cooking. We also have in our three little dots beside that preview button, we have the scales. So when we're cooking, we can actually use our scales to measure out different things. So if we wanted to, we could, while we were preparing that chicken, we could even um, pop something on the top of a bowl or something and measure in our chicken to make sure that we had the same, the right amount while we were cooking, which is really cool. Just read in the comments. And yes, I love that. I only made, I remember I made risotto once pre thermomix by many years ago and oh, it took me so long, you know, ladling the stock in slowly. Um, it was a really, it's a, the risotto is a bit of a labour of love when you're doing it by hand, I think. But um, having it on the table in less than 30 minutes in your thermomix is a game changer, for sure. So I just cropped out of that. Um, you can also access all your other things while you're cooking as well. So if I press the home screen, it'll take me back to those time, temperature and speed, which is running. Then I can have a look at my modes. I can swipe across to cook or do, like I could open and have a look at another recipe. If I wanted to, if I was trying to pick something for dinner tomorrow night. Um, I could even use the three little dots that are on there. Um, and bookmark it or add it to my shopping list as well, which is really cool. I can go into my recipes. So um, on Cookie you have the ability to create your own um, recipes and what we call collections. So um, making your own kind of folders of different recipes. So we could even have a look at this while our thermomix is cooking. So if I hit create a collection, you can see all of mine um, that are in there. So I've got, you know, baking, barbecue, breakfast, cocktails, desserts, main meals, my to try folder, heaps of different ones in there. So um, you can access all of that to have a look at while you're cooking as well, which is really cool. Three seconds. Any questions? Pop them in.
So we're just going to um, just scrape the base of the bowl just to loosen any rice that might have stuck down there. And you can see, I'm going to move back so I'm not smoking the camera. That has started that little, you know, first saute there. Then next again, we're going to add our 350 grams of chicken breast to start. I'll just kind of dice them up a little bit. I'm just going to pop it straight in. I did just so there because I just used what I had, um, but that's perfectly fine. And then 600 grams of water. I'm just going to get that one first. Fill that up again. So again, just watching our scales. And then, um, so it's saying, is there a heat, a heat teaspoon of chicken stock paste or a stick, a chicken stock cube? So I, I'm just going to use a little bit of chicken stock powder. Just popping that in there. Um, three spigs of fresh thyme, leaves only. Um, I didn't have fresh thyme at the moment and I wasn't going to buy just for one recipe. So again, guided cooking, just a guide. So I'm just going to pop a bit of dried in. There might be things, you know, that you cook that you think, oh, I'll never use that again or at all. I won't use it until it goes yuck or whatever. So just skip it. But most of the time or substitute. Google's handy for substitution. Half a teaspoon of salt. So if you don't have something or you don't think you'll use it again, just Google what a great substitution is. We'll have a think about whether you can leave it out. Bit of pepper. And again, we're going to place the lid back on with our simmering basket. And now we've got 13 minutes at 100 degrees reverse. I'm telling this to pan the speed slightly for one. So I'm just going to move that out of the way while it's cooking there. And I'm going to bring back my dough. water and all kinds of things. All right, so our beautifully rested dough there. So what, well, what I can do, can you, you can do this way. Um, so I'm going to go back into those three little dots and I'm going to go recently cooked. And then I can bring up my pizza the anchor. Uh, Um, I could, if I wasn't cooking my risotto, I could bring it up and resume it for where I was, but I'm just going to go into my wheat and just bring up the recipe there to read it. So if I went into recently cooked and I wasn't making my risotto, I could hit resume and it'll walk me through the rest of the stuff, steps, and I'm just going to read it from my wheat instead. So I'm scrolling down and it's telling me uh, to use your hands to press out one of the dough into onto a prepared tray. So I'm just going to get rid of my mat and grab the tray that I'm going to use. So these are the rose gold trays with the silicon liners available from the mix shop. Um, you'll, I absolutely am obsessed with pretty much all the silicon in the mix shop, to be perfectly honest. It's such great products. Um, the quality is amazing. And to have the liners for your baking trays. Does anybody have these? They're so great. They clean so easily. And they save you so much money in baking paper. They will pay for themselves in no time at all if you're using baking paper at the moment. So you just use your hands. You could roll it out if you really wanted to, but um, using your hands works absolutely perfectly. So rolling it, pushing it out into whatever shape you would like and then sprinkling it with that reserved garlic and rosemary mix which obviously ours has the oil in it, so it's not going to be a sprinkle as much as the pour. We're just going to pour that on. Amazing. And just spread that out. So if you didn't add your oil in, you would add your oil, you would sprinkle your rosemary and garlic on and then add your oil on the top. And then you're just going to 
Um, have a little bit of extra salt. Sorry, I'm a little bit off camera there. So just putting a bit of salt on there. Um, and then it just tells us to bake in the oven for about 10 to 20 minutes until lightly browned golden. I find that it's usually closer to the 10, but obviously that's my oven. So just keep an eye on it. Let's see how you go. All right, any questions so far at all, guys? Pop in the chat box and let me know. I might continue running through our flip chart while that risottos and risotto and um, pizza bianca is cooking. All right. Just having a quick read, catch up if I was curious and obsessed with the rose gold bake there too. Yeah, so it's so great. It's such good quality. And the um, everything from the mix shop is they really do test their products. Um, to make sure they're a pretty high standard when they um, bring new ones into the mix shop. So you're always guaranteed to know that um, you are buying something that is is of great, great quality. Um, so um, Cookie we've spoken a little bit about Cookie already tonight, um, that virtual recipe platform. It is a subscription service. So it is six, um, well, you can sign up and do a 30 day free trial at any stage. So if you're thinking about getting a Thermomix or upgrading to a TM6, it's not sure whether you'll use Cookie Doo and all those recipes. You sign up and have a look. So you can have a play. Um, you get full access to Cookie Doo. You can create collections. Um, you can meal plan out. You could even do your shopping list and order your groceries online, which is another feature of it. Um, all, yeah, free for a 30-day free trial. When you purchase a, purchase a Thermomix, you do get a six-month free subscription with your Thermomix. Um, and then it's $69 a year after that. So it's about $1.33 a week. It includes everything. So all of your recipes um, from all over the world, any software updates and new modes. So like I said, a bit like your mobile phone and you plan with that, that updates as new things become available. Um, Cookie Doo will do that as well. Um, recipe, cookbooks, um, yeah, the meal planning, the, all, all of that is all, all included in your um, Cookie Doo subscription. So at the moment, we're up to 84,000 recipes from all over the world. Um, when I first started, I think it was about 60,000. So they are being added to all the time as well. So something that continues to grow with you. So um, like I've mentioned again a couple of times tonight, um, you are able to have your own cooking experience at any stage. These open virtuals are a little bit limited for you, I suppose, because I pick out the menu. Um, but if you want to kind of cater your cooking experience to your own likes, dislikes, allergies, intolerances, all of those things, we would be more than happy to do that for you. Again, it can be virtually or in home. Um, and you can pick up all our host rewards too. So you'll see the thermo server shortly too, but we've got our um, second bowl, obviously, only until 11 a.m. on the 31st. We have our bread mat bundle and all of our different thermo servers as well, which are all amazing. So. Um, you can pick up any or collect them all with multiple demos as well. So have a little think about who in your network might be interested in seeing the TM6 in action um, and who might be interested in watching a demo with you. Um, it's totally okay if they have a Thermomix already. You know, it's great to sometimes be able to um, inspire them and help them learn something new too, which is really cool. So when you purchase a Thermomix, you essentially get us with it as your consultant. So we are there to help you um, with everything you need. So we want to make sure that you get the most out of your TM6. We want to make sure that you love it as much as we do. Um, and yeah, make sure you are getting the most out of your investment. So we're here to help with whatever that means for you. So we can help from kind of unboxing and getting set up, um, doing your first cook together, whether again, be virtually or in home. Um, and then multiple demos if you would like to help you get the most out of it. We do understand it's a big investment. So, yeah, we, we are here to make sure you get the most out of that um, and get as many house rewards as you want to. So there are all great products um, and you can collect them all with multiple demos. Our team do run multiple uh, regular cooking experiences and classes too, virtually. Um, so you are very welcome to join in for any or all of those, again, to help you learn as much as you can. So thinking back to the start when we talked about the things that are most important to you when it comes to the food you cook and eat, I'd love to know if you think, those of you without a Thermomix, do you think that what you've seen so far, um, it could help you with those? Could it help you save time? 
um, save money, be a little bit healthier, knowing exactly what's in the food you eat or, you know, um, that kind of thing. And if you already have a Thermomix, I'd love to know, is it helping you with those things? If you think back to um, your original or pre-Thermomix and what you thought, um, why you purchased it, do you think it's helping save you time and money? It's helping you be a bit more creative in your cooking, eating a bit healthier? Pop in the chat box and let me know. Um, so like I said earlier, the Thermomix is an all-inclusive price of 2359 I will let you know um, before... At the moment, we have found out that we are going to see a price increase in the start of July. We don't know exactly what that looks like at the moment, but we are, um, yeah, we have been told so that we can kind of let you know if you are sitting on the fence about whether to invest now or later. Um, there are multiple ways to get one on your bench. The first one is to earn a TM6. So at the moment, we have our amazing Earn 4 promotion going as well. So that means you can join our team. And you can earn your white tiered six in only four sales, which is incredible. It's usually six. Um, so, yeah, you start earning commission for those last two sales where you would normally be paying off your thermomix, essentially. So it's such a great offer. It's actually the offer I joined on two and a half years ago. Um, so I have an extra love for earn four. But it is incredible. It's such a great offer. Um, yeah, so if you would like to know more about that, please let us know. We also have payment plans available. We have 24 months interest free, which runs, which runs through zip money all of the time. We have easy three, which is like a take home lay by. We pay them a mix off in three easy payments. Um, we do have after pay as well. And you obviously you can do a one off payment too. Um, Thinking back to, sorry, joining the team, um, I know quite a few of you are Thermomix owners on at the moment, so you can also join the team with the Thermomix you own, join our amazing team. Um, at the moment, we are all working towards um, earning ourselves, you might have seen on social media, that sparkling black limited edition Thermomix, which we'll see later in the year. Um, so if you've ever thought about joining our team, it's a really incredible time to do that, um, yeah, and earn yourself a free extra Thermomix. When you um, come on board with your TM6, you start earning that straight away on top of commission, which is incredible. So if you would like more information on that, if you want us to send you some information to read, please let me know, or I'm more than happy to stay on after tonight's demo and run a quick little information session and answer any questions. The average family can kind of save up to about $40 to $60 off their weekly grocery bill with the MMX in their kitchen. I'm thinking about things like yogurt, um, snacks for the kids, you're saving on takeaway when you can make something like a risotto in under half an hour, um, breads, sauces, staples like butter and mayo. Um, the list goes on and on really. So there are so many great ways to save with a family. Um, so that is pretty much all of the main stuff. Obviously, we've talked a little bit, a little bit about the mixture up already tonight, but it is a bit of kind of a kitchenware shop with all kinds of amazing products. You don't need a Thermomix for quite a few of them, um, or there are some great accessories that go with your Thermomix available on there as well. So have a squeeze if you haven't already. Um, I can't guarantee you won't fall in love with the mix up and get an obsession like the rest of us, um, but you will um, love some of the products. So um, that's mainly all of it. Um, yeah, like I mentioned at the start, we do have that um, Fira Dutch oven. I'll quickly show you, I've got a few minutes left of cooking time there. Um, here. So this is available as our gift with purchase only until midnight tomorrow night. Um, so if you are considering getting a Thermomix, um, we, aren't, we aren't aware that a, Thermomix, uh, a gift with purchase is taking over from this phone at the moment. So this is, yeah, the only one available and then is likely to not be one after this. So this is our um, cast iron Dutch oven that is available at the moment as a gift with purchase. So it is really heavy and sturdy, but great um, coming into winter, you can make all kinds of delicious kind of meals that um, kind of, you know, I suppose get started in, in the Thermomix and then bake them off in there or cook them off in the oven. But you will love it. You can use it for breads, desserts, all kinds of things. I made it lemon delicious in it the other week, which was amazing. Um, yeah, you can use it for some really great bread recipes. And then, yeah, kind of all those winter warmery type meals too. Any questions so far, guys? We're nearly getting towards the end, so we're running slightly late because I was just having my technical difficulties. So our peaks are going through cooking away and we're nearly there on our risotto. I'm 
me a quick read back of the chat box. Please pop any questions in there. We'd love to help you with them. I'll just go back over to my comics. All right. So that booking time is done. I'm going to press next. I'm not going to tip it out just yet because I'll just tip it out all over the place because it is quite full. Um, but in there, we're going to place 100 grams of baby spinach. Sharing those scales because I took the lid off. I'm just throwing that straight in there. And 30 grams of butter. Just diced. Next, and then our reserved parmesan. So that parmesan that we grated up at the start, so I'm going to pop that back in there too. Next, we're just going to gently stir that in with the spatula. And then we're just going to leave it to set, just, just rest for a couple of minutes. So you'll always find that um, if you haven't made risotto before, you, when the cooking time finishes, it will look underdone. It'll look watery still. Um, but that's perfectly fine. So in the last few minutes, your risotto, I'm just making sure all that butter is mixed in there, um, your risotto will finish absorbing that extra liquid and finish cooking. You don't want to add, you get, you might be tempted to add extra cooking time, um, which like, you know, on normal recipes where you don't think it's cooked, you could, but you don't add it on your risotto because yeah, those last couple of minutes, it is going to finish cooking. And if you add extra cooking time, you're going to end up with um, overdone gluggy risotto. So trust the guided cooking. All our cookie recipes are triple tested. Um, so they are, especially ones that are, you know, highly rated, they are going to work every time. So, yeah, um, trust that it will finish absorbing in these last two minutes and you don't need to add any extra time. Um, yeah, any other questions so far? And then just wait those couple of minutes and then our piece of apple will be finished too and then we'll be all done. Any questions at all? Um, those of you with the Thermix might, I'm not sure if you're already aware that our cutter is coming on sale this week on um, on the 30th. We're going to see that in the mix shop. We do have, we have very limited stock. So um, if you are interested in trying to grab one of those, um, make sure you set an alarm for 11. So it is expected to sell out quite quickly. Um, and then we're not quite sure when the next shipment is going to be so perhaps yet. All right, I'm just going to move that to the side. I'm going to grab that out and put my hot, um, hot pizza on. I'm just grabbing out our thermo serve. So this is our oval thermo serve. Our thermo serve, thermo servers keep our food hot for um, hot or cold for up to about two hours. Um, so they really are great to have. They're a great little um, addition to your thermomix. You can see that there, we're just gonna pop that in there. It will finish absorbing in the next few minutes. But otherwise, it's pretty ready to go to me. So um, I think if you remember back at the start, this recipe said it will feed four. I do think that would be four very large servings looking at this. Um, so, you know, yeah, like I said, if you were in the, uh, there's a, two of you that would eat it or even less, um, I would recommend halving that, which you can do um, with your pan six. So that is our risotto. How good does that look? In well under half an hour for a risotto by the time we started cooking that. And I'm just gonna grab our pizza bianca out.
And that is our pizza Bianca. So those two done. And well, we made it under an hour in the end, didn't we? Um, with the late start as well. So what do you guys think? Do you have any questions about those? Perfect pairing. Um, if you, you know, you're, you're feeding a few or, um, yeah, just feel like a delicious little kind of garlic and rosemary bread to go with your risotto. Any questions at all, guys? Pop in the chat box and let me know before we finish up. I will pop my lid on my thermos over there. And, yeah, that would stay hot for about two hours now with that. All right, if you don't have any questions, um, that's all for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned something new or um, um, lost my train of thought now. <laughs> learned something new or um, were inspired to try a new recipe or that helped you um, hopefully make the decision about um, whether a thermomix mix will be the right fit for your family. If you are interested in staying on to find a bit more about the business opportunity, um, earning a white thermomix mix or a sparkling black one, um, please just let me know in the chat box and I'd love to run you through that. Um, if you'd, you'd prefer the information emailed to you or message to you, let me know as well. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. Um, the consultant that invited you along tonight will um, catch up with you tomorrow, give you a call to see if you have any questions or anything else they can help you. But otherwise, thank you so much. Just reading back quickly. Here, yeah, this would feed my whole family and it will feed my family for dinner tomorrow night. I've got a demo tomorrow night, so now I don't have to worry about cooking before I go to that. Um, but, yeah, with the pizza Bianca and the risotto, that would definitely feel to fit. I've actually got a family of seven, so we've got five little kids um, and that will definitely feed all of us. Um, we can hit the risotto tomorrow. So I've got a couple of options. I could just microwave it or the, there's a, um, it's not called reheat. What is it called? There is a warm up mode on the TM6 um, in the mode section. And that is really great for reheating things like risotto. You can add the butterfly in, which will help stir it. Um, and it'll just slowly bring it to whatever temperature I would like it. So um, that will probably be how I reheat it tomorrow. A warm-up function is great for things like the risotto or soup, um, those kind of things to make it, because make it, it stirs it as it's heating. Um, yeah, you know that then it's going to um, heat through. So, you know, when you heat things in the microwave and then you end up stirring it, it's cold in the middle and boiling hot on the outside, you don't have that same problem by using the warm-up mode, which is great. Amazing, guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, keep the questions going. If not... Um, we will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it.